Welcome back. In today's exam walkthrough, we're going to look at a derivative of a trig function, sine x, and also it involves a natural log. Uh, it looks like towards the end of the question, we're going to have to substitute a value in. That value is in radians. And so um, it's worth eight marks. We should be able to do this question in eight minutes or less. Okay, let's move down. Start the clock. Let f of x equal sine 3x. g of x is natural log. k part a is... Uh, find f prime of x. So if f of x is equal to sine 3x, then the derivative of this would, well, sine turns into cosine. So this would become cos. 3x stays exactly the same. We don't do anything with that. See my other video on de derivative of sine function. But what we must do is times three by the derivative of this bracket here. And the derivative of that bracket is three. So the answer to f, sorry, to part one is uh, three cos three x. Right, let's go ahead and look at part two, which says find g prime of x. So if g of x in the question is given to natural log two x plus one, then g prime, see, let's, g prime of x is equal to one over the value here which is 2x plus 1 okay times by the derivative of that value so the derivative of that value is just 2 right because it's 2x plus 1 uh we're using power rule which is result in 2 okay so our final result here then would be 2 over 2x plus 1 so that's g prime of x so we've answered part 1 and part 2 of section a okay let's uh Try and keep the question on the screen and uh, let h of x equal the following. Okay, so h of x is found by multiplying these two functions together. So that would be sine 3x uh, times by g of x, which is natural log, okay, 2x plus 1. Um, and it says find h prime. Now, this is quite important here. Uh, what you don't want to do is just go ahead and simply plug in pi over 2 into this because that would actually be incorrect in order to find the derivative uh, of h so h prime we've got to look at what we have and we actually have a product here this is product so we're going to need to use product rule in order to differentiate this so if i just draw a line down the middle there and call this one u and this one v there is a reason why in part a they asked us to differentiate those because those are going to be some of the, the results that we substitute into this remember the product rule um is vdu okay i'll actually just write it out here okay so so it's v times the derivative of u plus u times the derivative of v okay that's product rule now uh, i actually have everything on the screen here that we can use so i'm just going to go ahead and substitute it in one by one let's use orange uh so v um is going to be natural log 2x plus 1 du will be the derivative of sine 3x. Now, we did that in part uh, A. So that's this one here. So that'll be 3 cos 3x plus u, which is now still just sine 3x, which I've labeled up. And the derivative of v was the derivative of the natural log, which was 2 over 2x plus 1. Now, it looks complicated and it looks quite long, but all we have to do is substitute 90 degrees into this. So this is uh, 90 here. Now, this is a non-calculator question, so we just need to make sure we don't mess this up. We have to plug 90 degrees into this. What do we get? Well, I think it's important here that I just remind you, um, when we did unit circle, now you could use unit circle or you could uh, draw out the graphs. Um, I'm going to do this quite quick because we're under exam um, time, like uh, restrictions. So horizontally is cos and vertically is sine. So if we're looking at 90 degrees, remember we start from here and we will rotate always anti-clockwise if the angle is positive to here. But we are now here. Okay, so that's quite important. So look horizontally. Horizontally, we are at the origin. So that means that cos will be zero. And vertically, we are at one if this is a unit circle. So sine is one. So that's important when I substitute all of this in now. So h prime of 90 degrees, pi over two, is natural log uh, pi over two times, that's just pi plus one, right, times three. So I've done this bit, I've done this bit. Now we've got cos of three. So now we've got cos of uh, 
three pi over two. So three pi over two. Now that is 270 degrees. Remember, it's 90 times uh, 90 plus 90 plus 90. So we're going to be where, right? We're going to be at 270. We're all the way around here, right? So that means that uh, cos is still zero. So this uh, this is this whole expression is going to be zero, right? Because this is zero. So zero times three. So now we have this last little bit to work on over to the right here plus sine, sine of uh, 270, okay? Well, sine of 270, if we look over here again, we're back around here at 270, so sine is negative one, so this whole expression is going to be negative one, and then we have times two over uh, two times, so that will be pi plus one. Right, so if we just actually like tidy this up completely, this whole thing is zero, this is minus one times this, so we're getting at negative two, over pi plus one. Okay, stop the clock. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to see more math tutorials. Check out my playlist on my channel or click one of the videos above. I'll see you next time.